the Texas State football team did not waste any time finding their new head coach. West Virginia offensive coordinator Jake Spavital was just announced by ESPN as the replacement for Everett Withers. Texas State's volleyball team closed out the regular season Friday. The Bobcats are now preparing for the Sun Belt Tournament, which starts Saturday. Texas State will be top seed in the tournament. The Texas State Recreation Center is a great place to let off some steam. You'll find a lot of students there working out every day. The Student Rec Center welcomes all students. It's a good atmosphere for sure, especially just because it's all our age, like our age group, so you don't feel any type of, I don't know, you don't feel weird or anything like that. The Rec Center is not just for working out. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, I mostly, when I come here, I'll go like shoot some hoops and then come work out or something like that. Groups from off campus can use the center for their activities too. We host a gymnastics event here. Um, we host UCA cheerleaders here, their cheer camp that takes place over the summer. The center has some unique features not offered at most gyms. We have a golf simulator. Uh, it's kind of like Top Golf minus the alcohol in the <laughs> open area. I think a lot of people will just see the weight room and the track and kind of forget about the other stuff we have to offer. The campus rec center is free to students with their ID. Halloween is approaching and pumpkins naturally are a part of the festivities. The Methodist Church uses its proceeds from the sale to provide for people who are in need. Our funds are going to School Fuel, which is a local um, community-wide um, need you know, for children, school-aged children, and project transformation. Texas State students can volunteer and earn credit hours. So I began looking at Serve San Marcos, which did say this place was uh, needing volunteers which this is why I signed up. Serving the community and working together are satisfying to those who get involved. When the pumpkins arrive, uh, it takes uh, almost an army to unload and it takes a long time. Uh, but you have a lot of laughs and you, it's, it's one of those things when you get to work next to each other and do manual labor, uh, it, it provides opportunities for bonding. The pumpkin patch will be open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. every day until the end of the month. For more information, you can go to the First United Methodist Church website for Bobcat Update, I'm Parker A. Saka hosted a Carnival Monday to kick off this year's homecoming week at Texas State. The Carnival offered plenty of sights and sounds for students who came out to have a good time. The event featured a drawing for prizes, basketball, soccer, and many more activities. Hungry students enjoyed the food tables and chowed down on hot dogs and dessert. Saka, which stands for Student Association for Campus Activities, has an active social media presence, so check out their post if you would like more information about homecoming events this week. A record-breaking number of family members crossed the U.S.-Mexico border last month. The Department of Homeland Security released numbers yesterday showing that 16,658 family members were captured crossing the border. The DHS said the spike in family crossings follows the administration's reversal of a zero-tolerance policy. Authorities in New York City today say they have intercepted packages containing potential explosive devices that were sent to former Senator Hillary Clinton, former President Barack Obama, and a CNN office in Manhattan. The packages were identified during routine mail screening procedures before they made it to Clinton or Obama. Authorities urge anyone who receives a suspicious package to call 911. President Trump and Vice President Pence have both condemned the threats.